news, President Obama reaching across the aisle to announce a new member of his cabinet today. An issue he made when another is sworn in. Sabrina Fang is live on Capitol Hill with more. Good morning, Sabrina. Good morning, Sukanya and John. Later today, President Obama will name New Hampshire Senator Judd Gregg as his Commerce oh. Secretary. If confirmed, he will be the third Republican in the Obama cabinet. Mm -hmm. The Granite State Republican agreed to the Commerce Secretary job on one condition, that New Hampshire's Democratic governor not give his Senate seat to a Democrat, which would have given Democrats a filibuster-proof majority. And like his boss, Eric Holder is making history, becoming America's first African-American Attorney General. But Holder's stance on torture could put some CIA agents in legal jeopardy. Republicans fear he will prosecute agents involved in harsh interrogations. Uh. That's what they told them to do. And they're going to how can they prosecute them? That's what they told them to do. It's the CIA. That's what they do. Tom Daschle. Tom Daschle. At the White House, President Obama continues to stand by his pick for Health and Human Services Secretary, Tom Daschle, who failed to pay some $140,000 in taxes between 2005 and 2007. And I deeply apologize. You know what? He deeply apologizes. You know what? So far, there have been people resigning because they're looking into their tax passes and they're terrified. You know what? There are other people that owe taxes too before this. A lot of Republicans. Remember the Republicans? Those motherfuckers that are with George fucking Bush. You know what? They should, they should investigate. And you know what? They should audit Capitol Hill. They'll probably get all the money that they owe. All the money that they're missing in all this shit. You know what? This is all full of shit. They're here. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to fuck you over for a hundred thousand dollars. You know where I would be if I owed a hundred thousand dollars in taxes? Guantanamo Bay. Being tortured by the CIA. I would hope that my mistake could be viewed in the context of 30 years of public service. Now, I would hope that you would spend 50 years in jail. That's what I would hope, because that's what I would be, spending 50 years in jail if I owe that kind of money. The Asher, who paid back the IRS only after he was nominated, is the second Obama cabinet designate with a tax problem. I just wondered if President Bush had nominated these people, what the folks would be saying about that. But Dashiell... Same shit I'm saying! Crooks is expected to be confirmed next week. So help me God. And yeah, I want to say, there's more than just two. A lot of people resign so far. Makes about five of them that resign because they found tax problems in the back. Vice President Biden made it official, swearing in his former presidential rival, Hillary Clinton, as Secretary of State. Neither one of us thought. You know what? They ought to audit her. Her and her husband, they probably got gazillions hidden that they haven't paid taxes on. Uh, that we would be standing here together doing what we are now doing together. Uh, life has a funny way of unfolding. And Notice she's constantly showing her teeth. You know what else she constantly shows their teeth? A great white shark because they're about to eat you. Politics is even stranger. And in her maiden voyage, Secretary Clinton will be meeting with key Asian allies beginning next week. She will head to Japan, South Korea, and China. Live in Washington. All on the taxpayer's bill. Sabrina Fang, PIX Morning News. Back to you. All right, Sabrina, thank you. New Hampshire Governor John Lynch expected to nominate Republican Bonnie Newman to take Senator Gregg's place. Newman is Gregg's former chief of staff. Yep, one hand washes the other. That's how that bullshit works. Look at Sukanya. Guess what I'm thinking she's about to do. Well, I'm your 13 now.